This here, this boat, this is a Benchy. It is a small plastic 3D printed boat with no practical application whatsoever. And yet I have a lot of these. Let's see here. I have a lot of these, <laughs> yep. And these are only the good ones. Most of them look like this or this or this. Now I've probably pressed print on hundreds of them by now. And most people who have spent any time working with 3D printers know that fewer things cause more anxiety than watching one of these print after repairing your 3D printer. Now, 3D printing is truly amazing. And we've made some great strides in the past decade. You hear about 3D printing buildings, 3D printing organs, jet engines, and all of that is fantastic, no doubt. You, you hear about those things and you go, wow, cool, you know, awesome, that's, that's great. And it might even inspire you. But for most of us, that's about it. You put it at the back of your mind, never to see the light of day again. But, that, but that's a disservice to the technology. You always hear 3D printing is a disruptive technology. But in our lives, in your life, it's hardly disrupted anything. And I think that's a damn shame. 3D printing can be so much more and have a meaningful impact on your life and how you live it right now, as it has mine. So I'm here today to talk about what 3D printing means to you, to us, to your everyday Joe, who's not a PhD researcher or an industry professional. Someone like me, just a student who gets average grades, plays games, the like. A 3D printer shouldn't be seen as some high-tech cutting edge machine, but instead as an everyday appliance or tool, much like a coffee maker or a laptop. Now, now, before we get ahead of ourselves, what is 3D printing? Well, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a technology that allows you to print out an object in glorious 3D. Of course, that was a gross oversimplification, and there are many types of 3D printing, most of them too expensive for us to even play with. So when I'm talking about 3D printing, I'll be talking about fused deposition modeling, or FDM, the kind that squeezes out molten plastic on a flat surface and builds another layer on top of it over and over until you get a 3D object. Now, back to the Benchies. As you might have guessed, it, the name Benchy comes from bench test, a benchmark. It is a test print like those colorful lines that your regular printer might print. And it's also a sort of hello world program for all you programmers out there. I'll print one out whenever I get a new color of plastic, whenever I need to test my printer after I repair or tune it, and even to troubleshoot various printing issues. As you can tell, 3D printing right now is not as simple as pressing a big red button labeled print, but I'll get into more of that later. Now, you may ask, what's the use of a 3D printer? I'm not building robots or creating a small factory in my home. Seems pretty useless to me. Now, that's where you're wrong. And I wanna help you see perhaps all the ways that it can impact your everyday life, speaking purely from experience. Now, who here shops online? That's a dumb question. Everyone shops online. Now, imagine online shopping, but everything is free and shipping is instant. Of course, getting a 3D printer won't do that, but it can get close. Now, over the past decade, there have been many websites like Thingiverse or My Mini Factory that have allowed people to, just like you and me, to upload and share our 3D designs freely. With hundreds of thousands of items, most of them free, you could find something you like, download it and print it, just paying for the plastic you use. You can find everything on these websites from artistic light fixtures to action figures, to practical prints like GoPro mounts and replacement parts, to what I like to make and upload props from movies and games. Now, I'm not gonna lie, that was the initial reason I got into 3D printing, but while I came for the cool lightsabers and gadgets, I stayed because I realized 3D printing was so much more. So next, imagine this, you get home after a long day's work and Facebook decides to remind you that it's your friend's birthday. And oh no, it's the friend that actually got you something on your birthday. So what do you do? Well, for me, ever since I got into the hobby, it's never been a problem. Just find something on one of those aforementioned websites that you know your friend would like, or even better, design something personal. Press print and you'll have the gift ready within hours. One of my favorite things to give people is this little keychain. See the size here? There we go. <clears throat> At this point, it takes me under five minutes to design and I'll have the keychain ready in less than a day. 
or perhaps you have a cherished photograph of you and your friend, print out this cool lithopane and the picture will reveal itself when you shine a light through it. Now, if you want to take full advantage of 3D printing, you will probably need to learn some computer-aided design, or CAD for short. Now, this may seem daunting at first, but it is easier than it's ever been to pick up one of these softwares and hit the ground running, with softwares made for every experience level and application. Again, speaking purely from experience, I've personally had the honor of teaching a class on 3D printing to kids aged 8 to 15 who have never designed or 3D printed before. And to my surprise, within a week or two, they were at a level of expertise that I had taken months to get to myself, teaching myself online. Here are some of the things that I had them design. And mind you, I wasn't teaching them uh, some simple kid-friendly CAD software. I threw them in the deep end with the software that I personally use, a full industrial standard CAD software used in engineering firms all around the world. Now, it's always fun to print out cool toys and various trinkets or decorations, but where 3D printing truly shines is its more practical uses and being able to design even simple objects really opens up the things you can do with the technology. Now, there are more obvious applications. For example, hobbyists just like me have had the recent opportunity to help print things like face shields to aid hospitals in their pandemic response. But 3D printing also allows you to create custom, bespoke solutions to everyday problems. I had just gotten a new laptop stand, but it was poorly engineered and it was either too high or too low. Now, without a 3D printer, I would probably have begrudgingly gotten used to it or propped it up with a book, a less than elegant solution. But instead, I simply booted up my design software and within hours, I had this column that would raise the stand to the perfect height. Many small things like that really add up to visibly improve the quality of objects around us that we interact with on a daily basis. Now, when I first got the 3D printer, it almost became an inside joke within my family to point at something and say, I could print that. Lemon juicer, I could print that. Selfie stick, I could print that. You name it, I could print that. So I challenge you even just for the next day, just to have that mindset, that thought of, hey, I could print that to solve everyday problems, problems you perhaps didn't know you had, or problems you've written off as unsolvable and forgot about, like leaning your phone against a cup to watch videos or a missing cupboard handle, all things that could be easily and quickly solved with 3D printing. Now, I wanna share with you my favorite application, but perhaps a less practical one. Surprise, surprise, it's art. Now, art is probably one of the last things that comes to mind when you think about 3D printing. But with the technology becoming more and more accessible, getting into more people's hands, some of those people are inevitably going to do art with it. Loads of artists are using 3D printers to create intricate pieces previously impossible to manufacture or make by hand. Companies like ILM and Weta Workshop are also embracing the technology to create many of the props in the biggest movies using 3D printing somewhere in the process. I think it is one of the most amazing things to have something in your imagination, an idea, to use some easily learnable tools to yank that thing out of your head and into the physical world, and literally be able to put that idea into someone else's hands. That is what 3D printing can do, and that is why I think it is so powerful. Lastly, I would be remiss if I didn't mention the possibility of repairing things with 3D printing. Now, I've used my simple FDM printer to repair countless things, from mocking up broken plastic parts and vacuum cleaners, microphone stands, shower heads, and even my 3D printer itself, saving me time and money, seeing as I don't have to order an expensive replacement part from the company that may or may not even still provide the part, reducing waste and saving the environment at the same time. Now, now you're asking, Ryan, if, if 3D printing is so great, then why don't we all already have it? Well, I'll tell you why, from my point of view at least. Firstly, the technology is still pretty new in terms of the machines that the average consumer can get. There is a learning curve and most people's first few banshees will look like this. I know mine did. The machines on the market right now require a little bit of tinkering, maintenance and TLC, something not everyone is too keen on. 
And while not an issue for people like me, and perhaps even you, who may even enjoy fixing up and maintaining machines, not everyone jumps at the idea of picking up a wrench and getting their hands dirty. And not everyone has the time either. And actually, if you're one of the people who can't afford to put the time into the hobby, just keep an eye on the industry. Companies are developing at lightning speeds and printers are increasingly reliable, user-friendly, and most importantly, getting more and more affordable. On the other hand, this makes 3D printers a great learning tool. In the same way that you give Lego to a child, not because it's awesome and cool, but also because it teaches them to power through hardships and frustration, and frustration I think that 3D printing right now is a fantastic learning experience that teaches people that certain things are methodical and take patience and time. I know I've learned a lot and the skills that I've learned are immensely useful, obviously helping me in my engineering program that I'm doing right now, but also in many other aspects of daily life. Now, people like to describe 3D printing as a fad as well, and I'm never sure what they're talking about. Sure, 3D printing peaked in popularity in about 2013 when the media first learned of it and blew it out of proportion. But looking at this graph from Google Trends, it's never went down. It's sustained. 3D printing is not going anywhere. Now, hoverboards, despite its resurgences right before Christmas, that's something that was a fad and died. These graphs are not the same at all. People said that 3D printers are just glorified toy making machines. That there is no reason for anyone to have a 3D printer in their home. Well, that's actually exactly what they said about computers back in the day. And I've just spent the past 10 minutes telling you about the very real and very useful applications of 3D printers today. Look around you, look around you, count how many things you can see made of plastic, even just partially. Each and every one of those could potentially one day be 3D printed in your very own home. I think we as consumers just don't know what 3D printing can do for us. Could you live without your phone? Could you live without your computer? Well, not so long ago, people did. A lot of you may remember a time when no one had computers or phones and didn't know what they could do. But we embraced the technology let it touch every aspect of our lives, and now we are all the better for it, inseparable from our devices. And I fully believe if we as a society embraced 3D printing in the same way that we adopted the computer, that within my lifetime, I will see 3D printers as commonplace as a toaster. I also feel that there are many more uses for 3D printers than even I know in daily life. I think that a reason why it hasn't caught on is the current consumer mindset. The mindset of throwing an appliance away just to get a new one, even though it's not even that old or broken and probably easily repaired. But don't worry, it's not all our fault. The companies are in part to blame for this as well, making their products less and less repairable over the years, made to break products. Look up planned obsolescence if you'd like to know more. Now, this was not always the case. Once upon a time, things were built to last. Repairability and longevity were the marketing points that sold people on products. It's why we see KitchenAid stand mixers from 1948 still making cookies today. And I hope to see more products today being marketed as repairable and long lasting, though I won't hold my breath. And if that culture somehow shifts back, I feel that 3D printing would definitely see widespread adoption. So, I hope that now you know a little bit more about 3D printing than you did 15 minutes ago, and that perhaps you may even consider looking into the technology. If you've ever wanted to put your ideas into someone else's hands or experienced what it was like to be one of the first people to get their hands on computers and have their lives enhanced by it, now is the time to jump into the hobby. Let me be the first to extend an open metaphorical COVID compliant hand and invite you into this wonderful world of hobbyist 3D printing that I have found myself in, in the hopes that one day, everyone will have their very own flotilla of small plastic boats. And no, they do not float. <laughs> I've been Ryan Koo. Thank you very much.